Hi, this is a very quick video for um, Sissy Jones and our Cake Noobs group. Hi Sissy, Natalie Sorensen with Lucy Cake Design. Um, I was so inspired by your post about your Teletubbies and your awesome attempts and I just wanted to try to make one with you, see if there's anything that I can do to help. So um, I tinted some fondant yellow. Um, I portioned four balls here for the limbs and I portioned also for the head as well. So we're going to try to kind of figure this out. Right here I have a photo that I pulled up on Google for a Teletubby. Um, honestly I didn't really quite know what they looked like that much. You might think she from another planet maybe but I just I never gave their faces much thought. So I'm going to roll my fawn it here. Sorry, I'm trying to get a camera position that would be conducive, so I might just um, mute it off camera here. So I feel like their bodies seem to, I'm going to roll a crack-free ball, and I feel like that might be it. And then I'm going to um, try to shape this as a teardrop without getting my hands Maybe if I adjust this slightly. I added a bit of Tylos to my fondant. I felt like their bodies um, were kind of a teardrop shaped body. Their torsos. So here's, I'm kind of smoothing him a little bit to make this surface a bit wider. So here is what I believe would kind of look like his torso. I'm gonna make my guy sitting just to kind of make this a faster process. Um, I'm gonna roll. I feel like you're, from the post at least that I've read, see how I'm kind of rolling more to one side here? Just to kind of get a little paw or a foot. I don't know what these guys are, so honestly, sorry if I use the wrong terminology. Um, I kind of flatten this side, rolled this side, and I'm gonna See if this guy fits here. I'm gonna grab another one if that's a leg or a hand. Who knows? We're trying to go as fast as we can here for you. And so I could actually pick up my daughter on time from school today. That didn't work. Let's try it again. So again, roll a little bit here. It's basically kind of a cylinder, and then stress on one side to kind of get this foot out and we hope that they're somewhat even but again I'm trying to get the, the general idea here for you what you want to keep doing um, which I can't quite see is you want to keep looking at your photos for reference um, I cannot locate my um, my glue brush there it is I'm going to put a little gum glue right about here, a tiny bit. So you want to see if that kind of looks weird, like if his legs are skinny, make them thicker. Um, always keep looking at your references, but I felt like their limbs weren't really that. It was their belly that kind of was a bit chunky, but not their limbs. So here's the first part of this. Um, I'm going to take a toothpick and insert right here so that it would support our head. I might cut this a bit. The head will adjust. Look at this head. Um, but I'm going to kind of do the same thing that I did with the feet, with the legs, with the arms. Almost identical. They really should have been slightly thinner. And let's see if they have any photos on Google or with their arms. It's a paw. It's not even, do they have hands? Ooh, where's a good photo when you need it? Yep, there's a thumb. So here's what I'm going to do. This is also going to be simple, but I didn't see it coming. I think that's a good portion. I'm going to kind of try to roll this into a bit of a wrist. And I hope you can see this. I'm just going to flatten his little paw. Is he an animal? I don't know what it is. Maybe you can educate me in a while um, as to what a Teletubby is. So, 
um, paring knife, a good paring knife, and cut for your thumb. They don't seem to have fingers, at least from what I can see. If I make a mistake here and they do have fingers, let me know and I'll show you the rest of them. But my goal here is to go as fast as I can. I am pushing this down to make it cute and rounded. And I'm going to elongate this and hope that the baby doesn't wake up right about now. There we go. Yeah, that seems like a really long arm, you guys. And chunky compared to his legs, right? It's kind of weird. Okay. More mass for the head. They're always cuter with a big head, right? So this guy's gonna kinda, he needs a slightly thinner wrist. He's gonna be sitting right about here. Ta-da! There. Um, totally forgot the other ball that I rolled for the arm. Yeah, it looks like a bear right now. Ha ha. So, just so you know, you benefit greatly from rolling and making this more delicate. See how I'm kind of reducing the size of it? Um, it looks kind of weird to me right now, but you can tell me later if they're smaller. I'm going to cut it one more time. Seeing it out of proportion kind of hurts my brain a little bit. Okay. There we go. Funky little man. Another arm. Rolling. And let me tell you how weird it is to have a camera where I have it right now. But um, I want to try to give you guys the best view considering um, we've been trying to get this for a while. So here's the deal. I don't like this wrist. Uh, we'll see. I'm going to flatten again. Yeah, I can already tell that I don't like this wrist. I'm going to go this way because I can round this faster. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. It's okay. I'm a pro with that. So flatten. Try to make it around that first one side and thumbs are thumbs up thumbs up so this guy's thumb was here if I'm attaching him this way his thumb would have to be up here right so cut it off one and two and come on out buddy it needs a little help looking neater I feel like this whole arm needs a little bit neaten up so I'm gonna do that and I can hear my little guy waking up so we're gonna go faster now about that length again trying to make him somewhat symmetrical <laughs> there we go and I know that what you were really concerned with was his face so we're going to do that the head and the face now um, again what I would do here is kind of shorten this a little bit maybe make him actually here we go thumbs up to sissy she didn't give up on me see hide your mistakes guys okay now we need a head what I noticed with this guy if you look at this photo is that his ears are kind of attached um this photo so I'm going to try really hard to get my fawnet soft enough to do that. So, um, And he has a couple of pieces above. So let me try to do this really quickly here. I'm kneading it. I'm going to adjust this so you can see. <clears throat> All right, it's getting a little softer. Okay. So I have a crack-free ball. Um, I know this is going to sound or look somewhat weird, but I need to pull his ears out. There we go. And this may not work, you guys. I'm just kind of... We're trying this out together, right? So check out what I'm doing here. And I know that this looks super alien-ish and weird. Oh, what if they're aliens? 
Did it just come to me? Is that what they are? So now I'm going to make an indent for where his sweet little face is. They are such cuties. And take that all the way down. Wait, you're gonna see a huge face probably here. Um, I'm looking for a ball tool. This is how I believe, at least in my weird head, how I believe I'm gonna do the ear. So again, prolonging it as much. Elongating it, not prolonging it. Wow. It'd be nice to be able to speak. There we go. And then making this indent and it's really sticky. My font is super sticky today. It's an 82 degree day in sunny San Diego. So again, the goal here is to kind of make this shape. Um, if I could make a full circle, it's not cooperating too well, but the whole point is to try to have a circle. There we are. I'm getting and I'm gonna open it up this way. I'm gonna try to do this also as fast as I can on the other side because I am coming close to the end of the, um, this actually looks way better, doesn't it guys? There we go. Hurrah to uh, figuring things out together. So this is kind of what I wanna do for the ear. Now what I'm gonna do after is wait until this dries and go in and put some flesh color. So really between the two of those, I like that best. This is what happens when you're figuring things out on the fly. So I'm placing him down. Be better to place him down in view of you, right? There we go. Remember, this may not look too neat right now, but you're putting flesh color um, inside of your ears and again what I'm doing here is trying to show you the best I, way I could to um, just kind of a way to get your own Teletubby made. So flesh colored fondant and again ideally I would have let this set a bit um, before I start but we have two minutes to do this so let's hope and pray pressure is on. All right, so here's the face. It's just a ball, way too big of a ball. All right, great. I love doing this twice. Here we go. If time was not an issue, um, I could do this with you all day. I love playing with sugar. So I'm making this face shape. Um, if you look at them, I know you were trying really hard to make a nose, but when I looked at their photos, they don't really have noses um, that I noticed. So here's what I did. I just put a hunk in there. And again, when you have time, you neaten this up way better, girl. All right. I'm making an indent here so that their face, again, I don't feel like they have a nose. So I'm going to push this to show where the nose might be. I'm just going to make it super subtle. Here we are, and with a minute to go, Lord, I'm stressed out. <laughs> All right, um, one spot for this ear, or oh my goodness, eye, and see, we're getting there, right? And I need something for their mouth, or his mouth, I think it's a he. Um, again, I'm going to go right over here and sort of slash it. It's too soft to work with, but I'm going to show you what I'm doing here. This is not soft enough or not, um, not tough enough for me. All right, here we go. I'm going to make this a cute little smile. I'm going to have to end this video right now so I can upload it, but I'm going to make you one more.